Hey, nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Pedro and I'm a tutor at Telios Tutors. Um, I'm a PhD in biophysics at Imperial College London. So I have a background in basically all the STEM subjects. So maths, uh, chemistry, physics, biology, um, teaching all the way from key stage three up to GCSE to A-level um, across all the major exam boards. I'm also a tutor for uh, university applications. So personal statement writing, um, interview preparation, and also for extended project qualification A-levels. Um, yeah, and in terms of teaching style, I mean, it really depends on the student. My, my approach is always to um, meet very candidly with, with the student and understand where they are, where they're at, um, where they want to go, what their goals are, and using their own assessment of where they think their strengths and weaknesses are, build a plan that is most tailored to that student. Um, I, I don't think there is sort of one teaching style that I just use constantly across all students because I think every student is different and requires a different approach. Um, yeah, no, I, and I really, really care about um, uh, tutoring and inspiring the minds of the future. I think that's that's a really important work to do, and I find it really rewarding just to see uh, see see students take on that learning of how to tackle these STEM STEM subjects and how to tackle these personal statement projects and and um, extended writing projects, and break them down into manageable tasks that they can accomplish. Um, I'd say the one constant throughout my teaching style is is essentially equipping students with the skills they need to um, achieve the results they want with more of their own responsibility, essentially. So things like exam technique, which I think is super, super important for STEM subjects um, and isn't really taught enough in schools, in my experience, um, which I, I think is a major, major part of get excelling in STEM subject examinations. So yeah, I really focus on helping people with exam practice, with looking at how do you answer those data style questions? How do you answer those longer form um, six markers or 10 markers? And, and how do you answer the shorter form um, mathsy questions? Um, so yeah, really, really focus on exam technique, but also have plenty of experience teaching right from the bottom up. So maybe there's, I've had students before that um, uh, had, missed, had missed teaching, uh, missed a period of learning for whatever reason. And we really just built that understanding from the ground up with super engaging like visual examples and um, interactive techniques to, to engage the student. I really don't believe in just copying and pasting um, uh, a bunch of text in because there's no way that's no way to, to engage someone and, and help them learn. Um, yeah, and having been through a bunch of these stressful exams and um, difficult projects, I'm sort of very in tune with, with what the student's facing and what the kind of mental aspect of facing these, these challenges is something that um, yeah, I really feel that I can support students with and, and help them build that confidence that they can actually take this on and, and do really well. Because, I mean, I believe that any student who comes to, to a tutor should be Im imbued with this sense of like, yes, I can, I can do this. Like, whatever the school has told me is like my, uh, my target grade, like I can aim even beyond that. I, I think that's true. Um, and I, I try and instill that in every student I have because with enough effort and enough um, planning, it's, it's completely possible. Uh, yeah, and in terms of outside of tutoring, um, like I said, I'm, I'm a PhD in biophysics. So I'm researching um, how to measure biological reactions with, with lasers and uh, quantum sort of physics. So some, some interesting stuff going on there. Uh, and then outside of that, mostly I obviously hang out with friends, but also I uh, really enjoy reading about history. Uh, it sounds kind of weird, but uh, yeah, really, really into history, ancient history, especially all the sort of um, classical civilizations and, and what they did to build build the world that we currently live in now, uh, I think it's absolutely fascinating. So yeah, if I can help you or your child, please contact Telos Tutors.